What's that? Remember uh, Angel? Uh, what's that? What's that girl name? Anyway, she used to sing that song. Left without a word and nothing to say. I don't know what they think. I can't tell you what somebody else. Yeah, thinks. you can't tell me what somebody else thinks. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we on? I think we on. We on? Oh uh, yeah. I said he's so sweet. Don't no. you gotta pay for that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got we got ways of getting around things. And you gonna play fifteen seconds of this, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> like a lollipop. This, that song is wild. I was listening to uh, Lollipop the other day, and I was just like, how is this on the radio? Why? What's so wild about it? It's just wild. Shawty, what the fuck? Bottles in the club. He's so sweet. He can want to lick the rapper. So I let her lick, so the, I let her lick the rapper. <laughs> didn't, that, didn't Static <laughs> die? Yeah. What do you got, shot? P. I'm not sure. I'm crazy. Yeah. We got Jamar, Malachi, Neighbors in the building. What's your podcast called? The Inconsistent Podcast with Rob Hayes. I like that. Yeah. Catchy. It's inconsistent. It comes out, you know, when it comes out. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Don't don't expect anything. All right, because there's yeah no no expectations to be had. Good, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. good, man. Now how'd you lose? How'd I lose? How'd you lose? <laughs> I think exhaustion. Fuck. Oh, you weren't there. Nah, I got out right before you. So okay, so um, basically we we did a show called uh, Don't Break, where comics on stage is almost like a comedy marathon. People have to be on stage and they can't laugh. Now, Jamar is one of the funniest people on the planet. And honestly, whenever you would do something, I would like already just kind of cover my mouth yeah. or like face away from the crowd. Yeah. And like, oh man, I I just lost out of exhaustion. Bruh, it was, it was for, you so- were going for it. <laughs> I, I picked it up at, I was picking it up like more and more and more at the end like, yeah yeah one, yeah I think everybody else kind of was though too but like you came out you came out it, this is what I'll be this is what I'll be sleeping on I don't think that like I don't think like subtlety can always get me but I was like oh fuck like when you came out in the camera thing and you wouldn't really <laughs> <laughs> And I said, when you came out, you left. You was like, all right, I'm about to go change. And then I was like, all right. <laughs> he left. This nigga came out dressed like the pink camera and shit like that. And then I was like, I closed my jaw. And I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it only, I, I don't know if that nigga is going to get it. I don't know if that white boy is going to get it, nigga. But I was like, like oh, he's trying to get me. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh my God! Oh man! You were so funny. It was really hard. It was really Fuck. hard. Like, oh man! Who won? I didn't. Uh, 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 Will and uh, that other. It was a two way tie. Yeah, and that's that's what made me feel crazy because it was like, oh man, I could have, I could have made it a three way tie. Like I just <laughs> did. They make you laugh, or did you? Was you like, I'm, I'm like, man. So they uh. They called one of the other one's mom, mm-hmm. and then they like there was this whole thing about them calling the other one's mom. And when they got the mom on the phone, the dude uh, Joe looks at me, and he's like, "Mama Mia!" And it's not his mom; mm-hmm. it's the other dude's mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when he said that, I just broke, <laughs> and then caught it. And then the whole crowd's looking like, what? nah, dog, nah, you broke. <laughs> and then after that, I just lost it. And it was just like, it just was so fun. Like, it wasn't even that funny. It was just the, like, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, what's going to happen? And, like, 
nothing because also the audience wasn't just giving it up either. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, actually, if y'all laugh, y'all could probably get people to break. Yeah. You know, but they want to be all like, oh, I could do this show too. So they all like, yeah. I didn't think that that, uh, you know, the last girl, like with the big eyes or whatever. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that she was going to break because she wasn't really saying nothing. I didn't think that she laughed. Yeah. You know, as a as a human. Mm-hmm. That shit was fucking fun though, nigga. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Shout out to the Elysian Theater. Yeah, they do some good shit. Doing over that. There. Yeah, man. That shit is fucking crazy. So Jamar, you got a new special coming out? Oh yeah, it's good. It's decent. It's cool. It's fun. <laughs> you know, I, I love your album. Thank you. When, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, America's nigga. I love America's nigga. I love Hey, I was a crack baby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you got on the the MLB shirt? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In high school, like, in high school. I'm like, I know that guy. <laughs> yeah. I know the guy with the like no team, just the MLB <laughs> shirt. I know that umpire. I know that kid. <laughs> he said, I, he said, hey, I'm 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 in the middle. I just, I just like the sport. I just like the sport. Just play ball, I'm man. Like- <laughs> Don't worry about who my team is. Okay, this shirt goes with any shoe. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, yep. Man, that shit should be. Yeah, I, I mean, I like it. You know what I keep telling people? I said, because uh, uh, you got a special? Out? I don't have a special out yeah, working you, on it, but got, I do have an album out. Right. Yeah. And so and so my thing was like, um, since we like shot it in the park, my only thing was like, oh, man, I, I had to shoot it in one take. I mean, like one, like I didn't get like, like a second show. Like one show? show? Yeah. yeah I, didn't get, I didn't get a second show, no nothing. So you go back, and then I, I go back and I look at it, and it's funny but mm-hmm. I go back and I look at it, and I put it like, oh, man, if I had a second show, I'd have said this, I'd have said that, I'd have said this. Like, most mm. comics get a second show, and I'm about to like, damn, I got to let that motherfucker live. Yeah. But it, it is funny. It's funny as fuck. Yeah. You know, but it's still like, damn. Like, yeah. It's cool, though. It's called Rotten Luther King Jr. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I, I think I was just riffing with the homegirl or whatever. Uh, mm-hmm. Or was it like a, no, no, I was about to tweet it. I said, uh, cause I always do shit like, oh, nigga, my name is a uh, Thug Stanhope. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like, I got bitches head burned. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I was about to be like, I, I'm. They called me Rotten Luther King, and as I was looking for names, and I was like, Rotten Luther King. I said, Oh, nigga. I said, You could do that. And I was like, All right, I won't tweet it or whatever. And I just, so it's called that. Dope. Yup. So there's that. Mm-hmm. I was gonna call it uh, Cosby retards and bitches, <laughs> <laughs> but then people was like, "It's gonna get lost in the algorithm." <laughs> I, was like, I helped the niggas find it. Like, but pe- too many people voted against it. So yeah. yeah, yeah, it's all good though. That's crazy that you can you can name it after Martin Luther King, but you say Cosby and it's like. They're gonna get it out of here. They weren't even tripping about the Cosby. They were tripping about the retard part. Oh, they was like, you can't say retards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. No, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. It's all good though. But it's so weird because we grew up in an era where that was fine. Yeah, the Black Eyed Peas said it. Said it. Yeah, when they said the that? original. Let's get it started. Was let's get retarded. Mm. And then and then it was uh, let's get it started. Did did people go dumb where you're from? No, mm-hmm. like not not like for real. Like they did like they did make fun of it a little bit. They didn't go dummy. They probably went dumb ironically, but nobody was like seriously just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we was <laughs> like no one broke their neck where I grew up going dumb. <laughs> we were going dumb. That was a thing. Now white boys in the south loved the concept of. Ghost Ride and the Whip. Yeah. And they did that way longer than the hyphy movement lasted. Yeah. They were like, oh, yeah, Walmart parking out. We're going to go Ghost Ride the Whip. This is just a thing now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They took that over. Did you see some crazy shit happen? Like, um, the homie got his hair ran over. <laughs> Ghost Ride the Whip. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. Actually, actually the some homie, accidents, of course. The homie was, one of the homies is driving, and then his homie. His homie was ghost riding the whip. Like, um, no, he wasn't ghost riding. He was leaning out, actually. So nobody was actually ghost riding, but he was, like, hanging out or whatever, and he fell out. 
Yeah. And then the homie, <laughs> we younger, look, we like 18, and this nigga said, boom. He only felt like one boom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he ran over nigga head, he had to get this shit like. Well, one boom is is <laughs> not homicide. Doom, doom, that's homicide. You get, <laughs> you get one thump before it's a different charge. <laughs> that shit crazy. But then what's crazy is that he got his face reconstructed and he looked it better, better okay. than better than the. He was like, he was like, he's already an ugly nigga. But then like when he reconstructed his face, <laughs> that nigga like, just looked a little bit better. Yeah, I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to you? Hey, man, yeah, got you ran over by a car, you know? They fixed my whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> Is that Alicia Keys? No, that's Fergie. This is this the original. Yo, send me that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That shit sound hard. Yeah, they just stop mentally challenged people just run, I guess. I don't know. Who who's getting uh <laughs> the Special Olympics <laughs> will tell you different. <laughs> I'm like, who's getting like um like who gets you like much respect I ain't trying to be but I'm like who gets um who gets offended for the mentally challenged because it's not mentally challenged people who are getting offended are they it's normal people who are getting offended for them right i mean they probably get offended that you calling the other people normal but uh <laughs> 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 oh yeah <laughs> but uh yeah no there are there's some people that are the word police oh, and okay. they just they just go around policing what people can say and what people can't say oh oh okay. it's just like it's just like a part of the internet yeah. Where, like, there are people who are, like, we are in charge of what people say, what people can say. But they're not the FCC or nothing. they just people. Well, okay, what happened is the song started to pick up, right? But that word was preventing the song from going all the way. So they ended up putting the song in the, the NBA playoffs. Mm. And the NBA was like, we can't have... Let's get retarded. Be the theme song <laughs> for the NBA playoffs. I mean, <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, and so then they were like, "All right, let's get it started." Wow. Well, that makes sense. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's. I guess it's kind of. It's an easy fix. Yeah, I mean, it just. Yeah. I, I think know. they showed their work. I think if they made a song called "Let's Get It Started," then people would have been like. How do you even come up with that? Yeah. Like, you know. Let's get it started kind of hit, too. Yeah. It, yeah, it was a good fix. A good fix helps. Yeah. But for rotten niggas like me, I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> like like the Whisper song, that was a good fix. Wait till you see my all. All right. <laughs> Hey, they from Atlanta, no? Yeah, Yin Yang Twins. I forgot how great uh, uh, music Atlanta, like, actually produces like how you do that how what, you forget what was it like when uh what was it like when soldier boy was was it like crazy it, it was already crazy before soldier boy Lil yeah. john and the east side boys had it going crazy Ludacris, ti yin yang twins okay sierra outcast uh. like like p uh you know like it was, it was already just going stupid yeah, I feel like y'all ran the early 2000s, bro. We, like, low-key ran the early 2000s, and then high-key ran the late 2000s. Like when? Like the what? Like 2010? Like Jeezy, Gucci. Oh, yeah! Like, yeah. Soldier Boy, Shawty Low. Oh, D4L, yeah! D4L, Franchise Boys. Like, we was, we was going crazy. Yeah, yeah, It was like, like new music was expected. And it was all kind of different, too. Like, it Everything was... Everything was different, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Young Dro from there? Young Dro, yeah. Whatever happened to him? He's still around. That he's nigga still, was hard. Yeah, Young Dro is great. Young Dro is saying the wild stuff. Young yeah. Dro, I'm green. Is, is Boosie from Atlanta? Boosie is from uh, Memphis. Louisiana. Oh, Louisiana. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Do y'all claim him, though? No, we don't We don't claim him. He, we know he lives there. And, oh. you know, 
but uh, you know, we know exactly where Boosie's from. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need that nigga. I gotta ask you another. That's young Dro too. You know what I'm saying? He was still doing stuff later. Yeah. This what niggas in the club doing this. Yeah. Over here, we would do this. <laughs> and you know, LA niggas, we dance with our elbows out, so we were like. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all ever like bump into each other? Did y'all like like when crunk music was out where y'all pushing yeah, people and fighting in and, and people, stuff? All kind of shit. Yeah, y'all yep. was throwing them bows out here yeah. and everything. Oh, yeah. okay, crazy. See, I think I I think it's messed up though, or I think it's kind of weird because it's like we bump everybody else's music, but everybody don't bump our music. Yeah. You go to New York, they only play New York music. Yeah. Well, on the radio they only play New York music. But then when you get on the subway or you get like you hear people's cars, you're like, oh, they really play stuff from everywhere here. Yeah. Just they don't push that they do. Hey, why did chicks move to Atlanta for a better life? Um, People move to Atlanta for a better life. I mean, this there's, you know, historical reasons. There's like they had a black mayor in the 70s. So people was already people has been flocking there for a better life for a long time because mm-hmm. it was just all, like, you know, it was just a culture of like black professionals. Doing Is it cheap well. out there? Uh, yeah. Inexpensive property. And so the 80s, it's even more. The 90s, it gets crazy. Then there's Freak Nick. There's multiple uh black colleges there there's a lot you know there's a lot of black professionals black people making money black people owning property black police black like yeah like you'll get pulled over by somebody who you know and and it won't be you know, i mean you still like all right this person can take me to jail but you don't feel like oh this person's gonna be racist towards me you know what i'm saying like like all right my tail lights out i'll get a warning i'm not gonna get uh like you know, but not across the board, of course, but yeah. So Atlanta is like New Africa. Atlanta, uh... Uh, You you know they got New Mexico? Yeah. Could they... hmm. I mean, they shoot Black Panther in Atlanta. It's literally Wakanda. it's so black. Yeah. I only went to Savannah, Georgia. Um, Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it was black. I went to Magic City out there. Yeah, shout out to Magic City. (laughs) <laughs> I went like like yeah it, it yeah it is black it's just like oh I just didn't know that like it's like I, yeah I don't know that's cool <laughs> that's cool you've been in some what? movies man you've been on some TV shows Wait, let man. me finish asking you about Atlanta okay hey uh... <laughs> <laughs> well you Are ask me any... about Atlanta and oh, be like what? I've been to Magic City it's cool yeah it's cool I like the hot wings. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know Martin Luther King's from Atlanta. Uh, where did he get shot at? He got shot in Memphis. Memphis. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's where yeah. Drake died from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I was in some movies. That was fun. I was a house party. You was in house party. Yeah, man. Hey, it's on HBO Max right now. Come on. In that thing, come on! You was in Keanu. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I oh, remember yeah. seeing that. I remember like yo being hyped that you was in there way back in two. What was that? Two thousand sixteen or seventeen? Yeah. Oh yeah, that shit was. Yeah, that, yeah, that shit was fun, dog. Yeah, shot that shit in New Orleans. That was fun. Hey, I'm also in this movie. I hope niggas never find it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. no, nah, 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 it's pretty cool. It, you, you ever see the movie? Is it uh, recent or is it old? It was. It came out in the pandemic. Okay. You ever see John Henry with Terry Crews? Oh, I, that? I did begin that. 
<laughs> I did start it, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hey, 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 me and Sling Johnson in that motherfucker. For real? That shit was so, yeah. That shit was fun, though. Oh, man. I bet. I bet it was a blast. And Terry Crews was telling us how, uh, I think he was telling us how uh, he he beat up his dad or some shit like that. What? Was, that's what he was telling us, that shit. He what, was what do you do afterwards? You beat up your dad, then, like, what is it like the next day? I think he beat up his dad, but as a grown man, as a as a grown Terry Crews. Oh, okay. That shit probably hurt. Yeah. Uh, you think a Terry Crews ass whooping hurt? Is that why he's swole? Is he swole so that he could beat up his dad? Oh fuck! Like like, wh- like is the flexing pecs like taunting his like? <laughs> <laughs> he's I don't know. I I just remember him talking about that shit, and I was like, oh, why I- are you swole? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, do you ever think about that? Yeah, because I just got because I just got a lot of energy. Okay. So, so I got a lot of energy, so I had to burn it off. I can't be a nigga to just sit here and just write jokes all day. Like it's hard for me to like sit yeah. there. So I gotta like really, really like do something. So I go to the gym all the time. Okay. Yeah. That's why I'm so swole. <laughs> and I be in that bitch for hours, son. Hours, really? Yeah. Even if I'm just sitting there, and then like just sitting down. I mean, you like you do use it as a prop, though. You don't like like like. There's some people they get swollen and they're like, "All right, I'm gonna be sexy comedian now." Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you use it as like like you're an athlete out there sometimes. <laughs> like you'll dive, you'll like do some stuff where it's like, oh, he he might be have to be in good shape to do that. Yeah. I was uh, I used to always think about that shit. I used to be like, well. I was like, okay, if you're gonna be in shape, the one one thing I hate most is is the comic. He's in shape, but he'll never bring it up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He's just like, yeah. yeah. So you know, da 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 da. And I'm like, nah, man, you gotta use that shit. And yeah, like, you gotta be like, you gotta go out there like flexing, fucking doing weird shit or whatever. Like, make fun of yourself because somebody mm-hmm. gonna do it. Ain't nothing worse than like, ain't nothing worse than like being in shape and then somebody make fun of you for being in shape and it's like, damn, it's like. I tried this hard to look this motherfucking good, and niggas is up there like, nigga, how much? You know, whatever the fuck yeah. they say. So I'm like, nigga, you might as well make fun of it, too. Now nah, we gonna hate on you. Yeah. We gonna hate on you. <laughs> but now that I know you putting hours in, I do feel a little better, because it's like, dang, I, now I feel like, all right, I'm hating on somebody, and they, they putting the work in. I wasn't... Because I think there's some people that think you just woke up and was like, bop, bow, bop, bow. Why would people think, why would people think that? That's crazy. Because you work out... Not not like I should. You look like you play basketball, do you? I do. I do hoop. Are you I good? Look, I look better than I am. <laughs> like, great. I'll get picked on a team, and then people are like, dang, we made the wrong. Like, we picked him <laughs> way too early. He he, he could have been around. Yeah. I, was like, he look, I was like, Rob, like he ball, because I think cause you always wear sneakers and shit, mm-hmm, and, your, and mm-hmm, your hat backwards. Mm-hmm, so I was like, oh, mm-hmm. man. And yeah, then, no, I look like I'm ready for a game to <laughs> pop off, but yeah. Yeah, they going to cross you up. Yeah. Hey. No. I'm I'm decent on out in, on defense. I won't I won't just get crossed up You're by a anybody. Defensive player. I'm a defensive player. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that mean you really uh, can't I'm play. Dylan Cooks out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm out there like like hard defense. Maybe get a block in. You be hacking. You be you be like. Oh, not really. Not really. <laughs> uh, you set screens and shit. Yeah, I'm setting picks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm patting my butt on the side of the pick, so I'm letting them know what side to go to. Yeah, I'm doing all that type of stuff. Yeah. Nigga, I'm trash at basketball. <laughs> really? It is crazy. Like, I don't know. I can do most sports. I can't do basketball. Really? I'm I'm good for the, you know how, like, black people are, are kind of good at bat or kind of just because just they, like, black, so you can do a little something, something because you're kind of athletic? This sounds racist, but yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 like that where it's okay. like where it's like oh he's athletic but he can't he can't play basketball yeah yeah but he he fast fuck on the court but <laughs> nigga I the butt nigga, nigga the hoop could be here I think I'm too strong nigga because I'd be like nigga the hoop could be here and I lay it up too too hard oh like if yeah, I shoot yeah, a three yeah. if I shoot a three nigga I I put too much force on that that all player. comes with like repetition yeah you yeah. know because like if you're doing that maybe you need to back up. Maybe you could probably shoot hit threes further, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least like, like if you shoot a three and it looks right, 
people would trust you to shoot another one. Uh, like, if you shoot it, it looks like, nah, this dude, he don't, he don't <laughs> ever be shooting. <laughs> you can tell that I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah, like, yeah. it's like, yeah. it's obnoxious. Did you ever play any organized sports? Did I? Oh. Baseball. You play baseball? Yeah, that's the only organized sport I played. Uh, football when I was younger. Yeah. When I was like, still like Pop Warner and all that shit, but like. Okay. But baseball in like high school. Okay, you play baseball in high school? Yeah. What position? Uh, outfield. I was like a, a left fielder. Left fielder. Yeah. Okay. I like being out there because you ain't you ain't really have to do shit. Yeah. Until something came out there, and I was great. I can catch anything that come out there. Oh really? Yeah. But for the most oh, part, no. it's just chilling. I used to play left field, and there was this boy in. Uh, he was in my fourth grade class. He was on the Cardinals. I was on the the A's. Yeah. And so he was so good. He could like hit the ball wherever he wanted. And so he would hit the ball to my side knowing I wouldn't be able to catch it. Yeah. Like he like pointed at me like, Rob, God, and just like hit it over there. I'm like, man, he's about to get me taken <laughs> out the game. Why is he doing this to me? Damn. <laughs> Nigga, I'd be in the I'd be in the outfield doing backflips and shit. Like, cause it'd oh, be the so the outfield's fun when you a kid, you out there. <laughs> Playing with dandelions and stuff, yeah, and yeah. just out there having a blast, having a blast, honeysuckle and all that. Oh God! <laughs> Talk Do y'all have that in California? What honeysuckle? Yeah, I don't know. I know we got dandelions. Honeysuckle is like a little flower, and you like pinch the back of it, and then a little piece of honey is in it, and then you uh, can you can eat it. Like you can like I don't remember having the honey that. off of it. That's crazy. I remember yeah, having that shit. That's at some all. real southern stuff right there. <laughs> that nigga said honeysuckle. When yeah, said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> be out there picking cotton and shit. <laughs> nigga just, no, no, nigga no. just waiting. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, nigga, nah, but uh, yeah, baseball. And it's like I was also like fast as fuck too. Yeah. So I um, so I was like, like, all right, well, nigga, let me, let me, let me see if I could. Uh, I said, well, let me see, let me just try this baseball shit out. Okay. <laughs> right? so okay. High school, I was like, so I can like steal like all the bases and uh, all you, that you shit. Stealing bases. Yeah, but I couldn't. Uh, but <laughs> I would have to get on base. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So I strike out and like and all that shit. But the one time I would ever do it or whatever, if I ever got on base, think I'm stealing everything, bro. I was such a, so I was like too smart sometimes. So like when I started playing baseball as a kid, I'm like, this pitcher's a kid. He's, he can't throw strikes. Yeah. So I would never swing. And I would always get on base because they're always going to throw a bunch of balls. Yeah. It's a kid. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't learn how to hit it all. Yeah. Because I'm always getting <laughs> on base. Because I'm walking every time. I'm just like, I would like swing one or two times just so that the, the umpire, you know, yeah. don't just like, just let me go. But like, yeah. Then after a while, I'm just standing there. And then it's like, I'm I'm really putting it all on the umpire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm getting on base. That shit is. <laughs> Nigga, I remember I quit baseball to go join like a play. Like, that, okay. my coach was so That's fucking- what's up. My coach was so fuck. <laughs> my coach was so mad at me, bro. He was so mad. He was at the, like, "You're the fastest on the team." He was at, like, "Nigga, you go quit to go join a play?" And I was like, "Well, yeah, man. It's uh, you know, it's what I want to do." And then he was up to, <laughs> like, uh, he was at the, like, "Fine, then. go join your little play." No, that shit. And I was like, "All right." And I left. And I just went right to the fucking theater, nigga. And I like, I got, a, I got like a, um, I got like a part, like. Just right, like as soon as I like got there. I'm That's like, great. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man, I remember that shit. And then so later on, the coach saw me, like maybe like a couple of weeks and shit. I went back to the baseball field because I kept felt mm-hmm. kind of, I felt kind of sad. I felt yeah. kind of like bad. Whatever. So I went back to the baseball field, and then he was like, "Oh, what do you want? Ain't you in your, ain't you in your play?" Like, you know, I'm just looking, you know, and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, shouldn't you be at rehearsal? And I was like, yeah. And I just left. And that's the last time I've ever been on, like, a baseball field like like that, like, organized and shit. I still, I still play nowadays, though. Like uh, You like, play baseball now? Yeah, like Pan Pacific Park and shit. Like, playing, like, with, like, all the comics Who and you, shit. Uh, there's a comics baseball game? Yeah, 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 comics and shit be Who out there. Who you playing with? Like, Adam Sandler and Kevin James and stuff? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, nigga. 
Hey, you ever see that old picture of Red Fox, Richard Pryor, and uh, Eddie Murphy, and they was playing like baseball? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not that, though. Not quite that. It was uh, Harlem Knights versus Ghost Dad. Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, Bill Cosby was out there, too? Yeah, Bill Cosby was out there, yeah. That nigga yeah. came ball. <laughs> they said Bill Cosby was uh, talking the most trash. He was? Yeah. They said he said the Richard Pryor, man, he can't hit. He all burnt up. He said that? Yeah. That's funny, bro. It's in Jet Magazine as, like, a quote. Like, everybody takes the picture, but there's a whole article that went with that, and it's like, yo, this is this is right here. <laughs> he can't hit. He's all burnt up. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man, I never said it in the voice. It, it was It's even funnier man. in the voice. <laughs> it's all burnt up. <laughs> What you, you think them other two niggas uh, say? What you think? What you think Eddie and all them niggas say? I ain't no Kaiser is gonna be like that. <laughs> Bill told me to stop cussing. <laughs> and, I guess. Hey, you should get an Eddie Murphy um laugh, like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like when you don't want to laugh, <laughs> I'd be good. Anyway. I try to get funny people on the pod, so then I don't got to worry about that. Yeah, but it's still kind of, it's still just fun, just depressed. Yeah, that's true. That's true. When's your birthday? My birthday is May 31st. Oh. I'm a Gemini. Oh, hell yeah. Last day of May. The old switcheroo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Some people ask me if that's leap year, and I'm like, yo, wh- what kind of school did you go to? What does that mean? Like, they think it's February 29th. Oh. Like, they think, like, May 31st isn't, like, May doesn't have 31 days. Yeah, I hate May because it has so many days. <laughs> M- March got a lot of days, too, but you don't, f- but May, you f- it, it just feel long. Yeah? Yeah. When's your birthday? The 25th of January. Okay. That in the, that has 31 days, too, but it don't feel long because it's the beginning of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the beginning of the year seemed to go faster than the, the, the second half of the year for some reason, no? Mm. At least I feel that way. I don't know. I feel like the end of the year goes by quick. Like, once you get past fall, it gets crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. May 31st. That's mm-hmm, good. Mm-hmm. Smack dab the middle, you know. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's right there. The beginning of blockbusters coming out, big budget movies, you know what I mean? Is that when they, is that when they set all blockbuster movie out? I mean, blockbuster No, nah, they, like, run until, like, uh, July. Oh. Don't I you feel th- like July is when they, like, that's when they, like, try to break the bank. Mm. All right, July fourth, summer. But, like, mm. May is, like, the beginning, you know? You might get a, you might get a Batman in May. You might get a... Hey, I didn't even think about that shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, shouldn't it be a movie called Blockbuster? They should. I mean, there it was a place. Yeah. Hey, I just saw a block, a pop up Blockbuster, uh, yeah. bar, and them niggas charged you fifteen dollars to get in there. To get in? Yeah, to get in because it was a pop up. And I was like, Ugh. y'all don't know Blockbuster. Blockbuster, I'm supposed to leave with something and then not give it back. <laughs> I'm not supposed to pay to get in the games. The yeah. games I can get. I you can walk around Blockbuster when it was out <laughs> all day and read the back of every movie cover. Like I, I'm gonna pretend like I seen all these. <laughs> that nigga just remembered the synopsis. <laughs> like, <laughs> nigga, it's so. Uh, think about this though. Like the last few days that Blockbuster was in uh was in business, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody had to borrow some games and never ever brought it back because they knew that that shit was going to shut down in the next few days. Yeah. You think it's those people out there? Probably. Yeah. It's probably people with like, like, cause what they would do is they would charge you for tapes, the price that they were like in the eighties. Uh huh. So if you lost the tape, it'd be like 40 something dollars, $90, like something crazy. Because that's how much they had to invest in tapes in the beginning. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. You but to something? rent, it would be like five bucks, something like that. Every day, though, right? No, it would be oh, for, for like, three days. For, for like three days. Three for days. Three days. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You play games? You want, you want any? Do I play games? Yeah, like video games and shit. 
I play spades on um, the computer on on my phone. Oh, okay. A lot of old ladies on Facebook playing me in spades and stuff. Damn, man! Like if I get partnered up with Estelle, we running, we running it. So you don't play basketball. You don't play. I'm like, man, I, I didn't... play basketball not well. Yeah, I'm like, damn, man, I've been reading you all wrong. I'm like, I bet he has video games. <laughs> like, oh, I give off video <laughs> game energy. No, people walk up to me and just assume I play games. They're like, you know, like on Call of Duty, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, man, I don't even know. I don't even have a gaming system. Damn, dog. You be on, you don't be on Twitch? I don't be on Twitch. Damn. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> well. If I be on Twitch, I'd have a, my Twitch. i try to have my Twitch pop in. That's yeah. the thing. I don't. I don't really be playing it. I feel like I'm missing out. I feel like there's there's a whole community of people on on the game, and I'm like unplugged from them. Yeah, but then you gotta play the game. Why do people like watching people play the motherfucking game? Probably people like me. That also, I'm not good at video games. Mm. That's that's a major part of it. Is I'm not good. What about GTA? Where all you gotta do, you don't really gotta play. You could just go around. And oh, I have fun on G- GTA. Yeah, just, I won't do a mission. Nah, 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 nah. Unless you get really bored, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. But normally, I'm like trying to see how many stars I can get and going crazy. And then hide out and shit from the cops and shit yeah, under yeah, a fucking yeah. freeway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn dog. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know, nigga. It's the inconsistent podcast. I like it. It's fucking fine, dude. What's your favorite color sky? Uh blue. Sky blue. (laughs) Sky blue? Yeah. Sky blue sky? Yeah. You know you know what days I I like overcast too. Overcast is good. Like, you get overcast, but they're, like, when the weather, it don't feel hot or cold. It's right in the middle. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like damn, is there any weather going on? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. Fire. Yep. If you could be any animal, what would you be? I was about to say a killer whale, but then I said, no, because then you got to be in the water. <laughs> But that is my favorite animal. Probably Your like favorite a... animal is a killer whale? Yeah. I love killer whales, dog. They so ruthless. I guess I'd be a tiger, like a Bengal tiger. Yeah. I, I'm i Yeah. I'm kind of like a Bengal tiger. They live on their own. The, the, That's it. The killer whale. <laughs> so, like, what was the point of Free Willy? Was... was they All were, movies don't got to have a point. Like, were they going to, like, they were going to do something? Or they were going to take him and put him in the in the sea world? Or they were going to... Because he had to get him to jump over the thing. Oh, yeah. But it's like, it's kind of like, I don't know. How did, how did Willie know he could listen to this little kid? Uh, because he would always go down to the um, he would always go down to the tank and pat them. They developed a little relationship. Okay, okay. And so he would listen to them, be like, "Oh, flip or whatever, and do this yeah. or whatever, and all this shit or whatever." But then, okay, okay, wait, wait. Now, but now I'm over here thinking like, how did they get him <laughs> to the water? Right, they got him to the water. I think it was like him and his mom, or him and a chick, or something, or like the chick mom, or something like that. Yeah. I haven't watched Free Willy in so long. I don't know. But part one and part two is fucking great. Yeah. And then they start coming out with like Flipper and like all that shit. But like, I don't know. That's where you could put like Ant with Animals, niggas, is a movies. Remember Monkey Trouble? No, what is Monkey Trouble? You don't remember that? Where this dude, he, uh, where this dude, it was like a. All right, fuck that. Do you remember Dunstan Checks In? Come on, man. Yeah, I remember Dunstan checks in. It was like, okay, it was like that, but with like a spider monkey. Okay. That was what monkey trouble was. Well, Dunstan checks in, it's a monkey that's in a hotel. Yeah. And your man Paul Rubens comes back. And so it's like, all right, there go Pee Wee. I was worried about him. He was also in Matilda, too. Yeah. You fuck up Matilda? Mess with Matilda heavy. Yeah, me too. I like Matilda. Matilda got me making pancakes. 
Did you ever I try saw to... that little girl on the screen making pancakes. I was like, she can make pancakes. <laughs> I know I can make some pancakes. <laughs> Dog, I'm seven. She four years old up there making pancakes. All right, it's a wrap, man. Give me the bits quick. <laughs> I'm making some pancakes, bro. And then that bitch was making it with her mind? Yeah. Was you like... <laughs> <laughs> was like, ah, nigga, I don't know how to do that. Like, nah, I can't. I can't do that. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stand there and stir myself, but still. But did you ever do a thing where you was at the light? Where you ever tried to like move shit like with your mind? All the time. So, All the time. I try to go super saiyan and everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> nigga, so here's okay. Yeah. So, so one time I was trying to. Uh, so one time I was trying to like move something like with my mind, right? I was sitting over there, I was staring at that motherfucker. You know, you'd be like doing it, and then you'd be like shaking and shit yeah, like that, right? Yeah, yeah. And I stopped. I said, "Damn!" And then something, something asked me. They said, "Hey, if you actually move that bottle, what would you do?" And I was like, "I'd be like, damn, nigga, I can't believe I did that shit." And I'm like, "See, nigga, that's why you can't move it because you don't even really <laughs> believe that you can do it." And I was like, "Oh, nigga." I'm stupid. <laughs> when I saw the Matrix and saw that kid bend the spoon, I would be like holding the spoon and be like, man, this is the first step. First I get the spoon to bend, then my back bends after that. <laughs> <You know what? laughs> Did you see Creed? I have seen Creed 1 and 2. You ain't seen the last I one? I haven't seen the new Creed yet. I ain't see- No, I saw the first one. I ain't seen the second one. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I mean, I, I may go see it. I like how Creed was working out and they had the dirt bikes and stuff and they was playing Meek Mill and it was like, yeah. Part part one? The, part one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's the, it's the long... Oh, that ain't... That's Free Willy too. Who is that? Michael that's, Jackson? That's Mike. Yeah, yeah, hmm. Where's Free Willy 1? You think he did it? Do I think uh, Mike did it? Yeah. I think I don't know. I don't it's hard so. to tell. I watched the doc, and it felt like felt like regardless of what was going on, Mike was being extorted because he was homesick in Australia. Now I don't know if he messed with the kid or not, but I do. It does feel like they they put the kid in it, like 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 they. <laughs> They added a kid to this the equation. This kid won a contest, right? <laughs> oh, God, red flag right he there. He gets to, gets to dance on the stage. Mm-hmm. They showing the kid dancing. How is the kid dancing? He all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't no like, oh, he need to go on the road. Yeah, yeah. He, need to, he need to dance on stage with Mike yeah. every night. So it's kind of like, all right, this is a little wild that this kid on tour, right? Yeah. So then... The next night, his parents bring him back. Like, this the kid from last night. He wanted to come again. And it's like, why y'all listening to this little kid? Why y'all allowing this to happen? Why y'all bringing this back to Mike, to grown Michael Jackson? And it's like, you know. And I heard, and I heard, like, when he not on camera, he talk with his regular voice. The yeah. show's over, bro. Yeah, Sh- show's over. Like- <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid. It's over. <laughs> right? He go in the back. He go in the back of the room. He go in the uh, Michael dr- fucking, fucking back dressing room and shit. And Michael Jackson got his shirt off, nigga, smoking a cigarette, nigga, like hair all down. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, like, okay. Like, like, the thing is, Mike did take this kid a lot of places. He did take the kid to amusement parks. He took the kid to the set of Indiana Jones, and then Harrison Ford let the kid crack the whip. So it's like, why is nobody talking to Harrison Ford? What you mean, crack the whip? I thought that meant, like, the Indiana Jones whip. He showed him how to crack it, and he cracked it. I hope that's what he meant. Oh, I think you meant, like... (laughs) (laughs) That's what I imagined. I imagined Harrison Ford was just like, oh, yeah, son, you're... It's easy, you know, like... like, (laughs) You want to crack the whip? <laughs> what? <laughs> but also, we do know that uh, Steven Spielberg and Michael Jackson fell out and that Michael Jackson was supposed to be in Hook and Steven Spielberg and Michael Jackson fell. So it might be like, was hey, he, Oh, he was supposed to play Hook? He was supposed to play He was supposed to play uh, Peter Pan, like oh. Robin Williams' part. He, that's what he wanted to play, and they didn't give him that 
that shot, that wouldn't have been that bad. It probably would have been good. It probably would have been fire. I mean, Robin Williams did his thing, but also Robin Williams was like, oh, like he was an old Peter Pan. It was just a totally different yeah. concept. But if Michael Jackson's Peter Pan in that time, it, it might have went. And like Steven Spielberg's in the uh, Michael Jackson older Liberian him, Girl video, and Michael Jackson narrated the ET audio the ER, book right? or whatever. Oh, and so they. They got a relationship, but somehow they fell out. So maybe it was like, hey, you you bringing these kids on set. Yeah. They cracking whips and stuff. You making it hot over here. <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga won't stop dancing, and it's not that good. <laughs> it's not even that good. <laughs> you like, this nigga brought me in the room to watch this kid dance. He all right. Look you at know? him go. Look yeah. at him go. <laughs> Anybody can grab their nuts, man. He's not even doing the other moves, yo. What's going on? <laughs> He only doing the nut, nut grabbing part. <laughs> Michael's like, he's good, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't I don't like thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? I love Michael Jackson. Whenever a video of Michael Jackson from the 70s hits TikTok, it goes immediately to my account. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how the algorithm knows that's what I want to see, but it brings it right to me. Hey, do you think they're going to free Young Thug? Speaking of ATL, uh, I don't know. I think there's a lot going on, and I think the the what from what I've learned from the Trump presidency, like a lot of things can slip through the cracks as far as the legal system in this country. Twenty people said he did it. No, yeah, <laughs> so many people documented on camera. Sure. <laughs> But that doesn't mean that there wasn't some tampering. There wasn't some, some you know, evidence being mishandled. Uh, people, you know, getting a fair jury of, of jurors that don't have any knowledge prior of the case. You know, there's there's a lot of things. They accusing him of what of gang of gang um of gang shit. Yeah, whole lot of whole lot of gang shit, and like and like contributing to like street uh, warfare, like and all that shit or whatever, right? Yeah, I think the RICO is just kind of like an organized crime charge. So it's just like if there's like the a mob. if there's a big yeah, basically it was designed to take down the mob. So if there's a big criminal organization, then it's just to like take them down or whatever. Oh, oh, okay. He be in charge with that. So, yeah, so basically he's being charged with that, and a lot of the people who are accessories who are implicated with him are, like, giving it up. Mm. That's what it sounds like. But also, you know, don't quote me. Uh, the Internet is full of people who are feel like they're correct and love correcting people. And so <sighs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to have, a, you know, I don't want to be going. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. Whatever you say in the comments, that's what it is. Yeah. You read the comments, you're like, damn, man, that shit sounds smart. And then you read an opposing comment, and that shit sounds smart, too. And you're like, these niggas are smart. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The worst is, like, okay, recently I put up a thing, and the joke logic still works, even though how I expressed a certain, like, rule in the NBA wasn't all the way, I guess, I didn't express it correctly. But what I was trying to say was right. And the whole point of that to make a joke was right. Yeah. But people are just like, nah, I gotta that's not what the rule is. This is what the rule is. And it's yeah, like yeah. yeah. Sports fans are like that. They're super I didn't know sports fans were so whack. Yeah. Until I, until the internet. I thought they were the coolest fans. They I thought they just drunk beer and just had a good time and like yell at people and like specific colors. I didn't know it was all about, oh, you got to know stats and you got to have a, opinions on what people played like before you were born. And, you know, it's like, yo, y'all y'all making this not fun. Yeah, I was reading up on, um, I was reading up on, um, on, on the Kobe, uh, on the Kobe thing that happened, right? Mm hmm And, um, I was reading up on it and then I found out so fucking much just by doing, like, some research. Yeah. So, I was finding out how, uh, how Kobe how Kobe like he wasn't even like an accurate like shooter like that he wasn't that clutch 
he just took a lot of shots. And mm. you're bound like, and I found out that like Jerry West is technically a better basketball player than Kobe Bryant. Like just from just Who like wrote this uh, article, Jerry West. Yeah, and <laughs> of course, he's literally the NBA logo. Like he's like, <laughs> I was reading up all, all that, and I said, damn. Like, I do remember when Kobe scored eighty one. Bringing the article to school and being like, "Yeah," but he took five thousand shots. And then people being like, "Look how many shots he took!" <laughs> yeah, he took like a hundred something shots, and it was like, still, <laughs> no, nobody else taking that many shots. Nobody else has that much stamina. He he won't pass the ball. Nobody. <laughs> that shit is ridiculous. I don't know. Were you a Kobe fan? I mean, are you a Lakers fan? Are you a, are you a L.A. sports teams guy? He did a lot for the city, so I respect him in that. But like coming up, I was like, uh, I would always go for the other team. I was like, really? <laughs> some reason, like I thought that um, you a I, Clippers guy? If they were playing the Clippers, I would go for the Clippers. But okay. I don't, I don't. But I'm not a Clippers like fan. I would. You're just against the Lakers. <laughs> I be, I be against, I be against like I don't know. <laughs> It's it's weird. It's like it's like when um it's like when oh fuck I bit my lip. It's like when that nigga Tom Brady was uh playing for the Patriots. I would always go for the Patriots, oh, whatever. Wow, because I like like I, I I don't know. My logic is fucking retarded. Like uh, you're a villain. Yeah 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 yeah. Like yeah. I like like I like uh like I like Steph Curry and them niggas just being able to shoot whenever they want to and just make it like like yeah. I don't know, but for some reason I couldn't get there with like with like Kobe and, and all that shit. Or, I got or, you. Mm. Even Kobe Shaq. Yeah, I still was at the like, oh, did they win? Uh, uh. I don't know. For some reason I just couldn't really get there because I wasn't crazy about Shaq because he had Payless because he made Payless shoes. Dang, you really gonna do that to Shaq? Shaq trying to make some shoes for the for the community. Well, but that's the problem. Are you community. was mad? You was you was at Payless like, man, now they don't got no Spider Man shoes of my <laughs> size because this dude want to be dunking and stuff. <laughs> because this is the fuck part about it all is that Kobe. I mean, Shaquille and all damn near ruined my fucking childhood. Like. Yeah, I would go to school and everybody would have Jordans and shit, and then I got on Shaquille O'Neal's and all that shit. So it's a nigga like this, and then that look cool versus a nigga that is doing this, whatever. But it's supposed to be the same logo. It's like niggas know my shit ain't legit. But your your dude is teabagging the rim. That's way harder than just you know touching it with your hand. Sound good now? <laughs> when you put it that way now, I wish I had that logic back then. <laughs> like, if I if I could articulate it that nigga. <laughs> When I was 12, nigga, I'd have been, like, happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh, my dude man. is teabagging the rim. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nigga, I hate these shoes. Yeah. So so you took that out on Shaq, so you rooted against Shaq. But also, I remember Shaquille O'Neal, he, he, does such, he does so much community work that I used to, uh, I used to live in his orphanage, don't ask. And um and uh Shaquille O'Neal donated a bunch of like shit to the orphanage. Yeah, shoestrings and all this shit, right? And this was around time he size five X L T. Yeah, and and it was cool, but it was still like you know this is when he first got on the Lakers and all this shit. So I didn't like yellow. I didn't like. <laughs> I just thought it was like I was so ungrateful. But, Dang. Yeah. Anyway. I remember that. Wow. She killed on him. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I just remember that. Wow. Did uh, he bring any CDs by? I did like Shaq Fu, though. Yeah. Shaq Fu was hard, and Kazam yeah. was dope. Yeah. I think that's an underrated. Uh, I think that's an underrated. So you like Shaq before he got here? It's not. It's not. I like little things that he did. I thought he can kind of rap. I thought I like. I liked his music yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. What you doing? Oh, I was trying to find a Shaq song, but then I couldn't decide which one. Oh. And then I, I like was... playing on the west side, even though I like playing on the east side. <laughs> Niggas got my back and it's all right. We could do it from the night to the daytime. That's hard to find Shaq's music. You probably scrubbed it. 
TNT got this Shaq music out of here. Mm-mm. Yeah, dog. Shaquille O'Neal was great. I love you, Shaq. <laughs> I don't want the, I love you, Shaq. Don't you hate when people be like, stand on what you said. I'm like, nah, you don't want to all the time. Yeah. You remember the food chickens? No. <laughs> Who is this? The food chickens and Shaq. That's a killer deal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that Roy Jones song. That y'all must, y'all have, must forgot. have forgot. Hey, y'all must have forgot was a banger. Yeah, it was you pretty good. You be watching HBO waiting on a movie to come on, and then a music video just comes on. Y'all must have forgot, forgot. It's like, bro, I did forget. He was banging, man. <laughs> I forgot I was watching HBO. I thought I was watching BET for a second. Damn. Is <laughs> BET still good? Uh, They say Tyler Perry's about to buy BET. You ever watch Tyler Perry stuff? Like, like, like without, without a buy, I mean, without a, just like you being able to enjoy it without anybody criticizing shit? Nah, I mean, well, like, the, my introduction to Tyler Perry was everybody loving him. Oh, the play? Me. Yeah, yeah, oh. people would bring the bootleg, like, DVDs of the plays and stuff to school and everything, and, like, people really, really love that stuff. I keep telling niggas that, uh, I keep telling niggas that, like, his plays were the funniest shit in the fucking world, bro. People love them plays, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. When I went to Tyler Perry Studios and saw those, like, like sound stages named after different uh, famous, like, black people in entertainment it really i did get choked up a little bit really it did feel like oh wow he really did something that was like truly great for black you know people. entertainment and yeah. black people in entertainment yeah that's good it's so funny though because it's like it, it'd be it'd be so easy to shit on him but then i'm like nah nigga don't act like you wouldn't like anyway i used to love that nigga shit yeah yeah i really did You like uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman and Hell yeah, yeah. I, there was a song. Um, um, there was a song like that. Uh, wasn't uh Shante Moore up in that motherfucker? Like uh, I don't know, but he used to always have like a bunch of like other people up in that bitch that would like sing real good. Now we you know what else I like is that he took the people from the plays and then he actually like put them in like. He still rock with them niggas today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you go back and watch the plays, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's Mr. Brown. Uh, yeah, that's Mr. Brown. Yeah, yeah. And gave, gave Mr. Brown a fucking spin off mm-hmm, and then, like, mm-hmm. and put him in all the movies and shit. That's, that must be, like, his, like, homie or some shit. Like, I mean, Probably. Or, yeah, I just thought that. I just think that that's cool. Like, he's, Yeah. I don't know. He probably can't answer the phone any way he wants to when Tyler Perry calls. Other people, they'd be like, oh, yes, Mr. Perry. He'd probably be like, oh, what's going on, Tyler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh fuck. Yeah. And that nigga funny too, the uh, Mr. Brown dude. Yeah. Motherfucker funny, man. I don't know. Well, Jamar, please tell people where they can find your special. Oh, oh. yeah. All right. Uh you can find it on YouTube March fifteenth. Okay. I will release this thing at midnight. Yeah. Yeah, because you probably want to watch it, like, late at night. <laughs> like, you are a late-night guy. Yeah, for sure. I feel sure. like it doesn't feel right to watch Jamar in the middle of the afternoon. I feel like you got to watch Jamar late at night. Yeah, you going to bed or whatever, or you just chilling, with, laying up with your girl, you smoking some shit, or whatever the fuck you do. Mm-hmm, That's mm-hmm. when it's good to watch it. You know what I'm saying? It's good to watch it either way, but it's all good. Yeah, so uh, March 15th, uh, Rodden Luther King Jr., uh and i got some vlogs uh going on leading up and leading up to that and um this fool on hulu come on man talk about it yeah and uh and i'll be around the comedy store you know yeah yeah so you might see jamar with a mohawk on 
Oh yeah, I didn't wear that shit today. Rope, chain, you know, no shirt, big no, shirt, no socks and skinny jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, Jamar is great. If you get a chance to see him live, definitely do that and watch that special, Rotten Luther King Jr., March 15th. Yeah. Hey, this was fun, Rob. Thank you, G. Yeah, thanks for coming through. No props.